So today's question comes from Steve and Steve has sent me this email. His question is, Ron, why do you talk so much about wealth? And why is so much of your content about financial wealth? Money isn't everything you know. There are more important things like peace, family and health. Steve, thank you so much for sending this email. I'm so glad you did because it gives me an opportunity to present my perspective and I can tell you this particular email, I've had this the same comments in so many different forms over the years and I agree with you. Steve, I agree with you. Money isn't everything, but nothing is everything. Health isn't everything either. Peace of mind isn't everything either and family isn't everything either. All of those things are important. And the question is this, Steve, if I may ask, when you see somebody talking about the value of health, do you write to them and say health is in everything? Or when you read a column on sports, do you write to them and say, hey, sports is in everything? My guess would be that you don't do that because I'm absolutely certain that this type of response only comes up when somebody talks about financial wealth. And the question I want you to reflect on is, would you have sent me a similar email if I wasn't talking about financial wealth and I was talking about some other topic? The reason I say this is because so many people have a negative belief around wealth and they just don't want to hear about money and wealth for the main reason that they don't understand it and they don't have enough. And so they get irritated. Because I can tell you anybody who is financially motivated, financially responsible, and has a desire to create wealth and is financially savvy, doesn't mind hearing about uh, content that relates to financial wealth. But I think, Steve, I'm also going to take this opportunity to talk about why financial wealth is a very important consideration, probably as important as health and peace of mind. And I'm going to give you some reasons as to why I believe so. And I hope that you will take my perspective on board and at least take the time to reflect on it. The first reason why financial wealth is as important as any other area of life is because we live in an economic world. You see, money may not be very important, but everything that is important requires money. Think about it. We can't even spend time with our family if we have concerns about bills because then we need to spend a lot of time at work. Health is important, but healthcare is not free. Medicare, medical care is not free. Okay, so if you really think about all the important things in life, travel, life experience, everything costs money. Even good teachers and education costs money. So even though money by itself is not important, everything that is important requires for us to have a decent amount of money so we can fully experience life. The second reason why financial wealth is as important as any other area is because of longevity trends. What do I mean by that? Well, because of medical and scientific advances, People in the developed world as well as the developing economies are living a lot longer than they ever have. Uh, life expectancy on an average in most countries is definitely between 70 and 90. So think about this. Most people want to give up work or they're going to be forced out of the workforce because of involuntary redundancies or uh, industry downturns or outsourcing artificial intelligence trends uh, or automation trends. They may find themselves that they don't have a job, maybe past 50, 55 or 60. And if your life expectancy is anywhere from 70 to 90, average being about 78, the question is how are people going to support themselves financially if they have not created a sufficient level of financial wealth to last them an entire lifetime? The third reason why I believe that financial wealth is as important as any other area is because if you don't have financial wealth, when you retire, and your human capital is depleting, meaning that there is a natural depletion in your mental and physical capabilities. If you don't have enough financial capital to compensate for that, who are you going to depend on? Are you going to depend on governments? Because the problem is that governments have already demonstrated that in majority of countries, they're mismanaging people's money and they're in massive debt and deficit. 
Are you going to fall back on your family? Is that the plan? Well, how many of you can fall back on your family? Fact is that a lot of uh, people who are in the 30s and 40s and 50s today may find themselves not just looking after kids who need financial support, but also looking after aging parents who are still alive and have run out of money. So if you are not prioritizing financial wealth, I want you to imagine the prospect of not having money yourself, having children who are financially dependent on you and parents who need your financial support. And now think about that and tell me, how do you feel? Is it not uh, the most responsible thing for you to understand what's actually happening in the world and make provisions for the fact that financial wealth is probably one of the most important commodities in the world after oxygen and water and food? Think about it. Isn't money the most important commodity in the world? And so you have to prioritize uh, money and because you need to make sure that the money flow doesn't stop when you stop working. I'm going to give you another reason why financial wealth is something that needs to be prioritized and is as important as any other area. According to the Global Shift in Wealth, which is an annual report that's produced, right now globally there's estimated to be about 15 million individuals that have the millionaire status. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to consider what 15 million works out as a percentage of the entire world population of approximately 7.8 billion people. Look, I don't know about you, but it concerns me that not even 1% of the entire world population are millionaires. In a world today where we have the best technological advances, access to social media, we have access to the internet, there are less barriers to starting a business, there are less barriers to investing, why is it that so many people are not able to attract a level of financial abundance that they actually want, but are unprepared to learn all the mechanisms that result in financial wealth. The other thing and the last point that I'm going to make is this. A lot of people today may be educated to be able to carry out a task and fulfill the responsibilities of their job, their career, their role or their occupation. But the reality is this, why do we go to work? We go to work so we can have enough money. And I know that majority of people who say money isn't important. If you hand them a check for a million dollars, how many of them will not take that check? Think about this. So if they will accept that check, if they've been truly honest with themselves, if they would accept somebody giving them a million dollars, then the question is, why aren't they prioritizing financial wealth? And the simple reason is this. They don't want to learn it. Either it's mental laziness, it's indifference or it's simply ignorance about how important financial wealth is and how it impacts pretty much all, all other areas of our life that are important. I'm going to conclude this by simply saying this. With the current level of imbalance that we have, where majority of people struggle financially and are going to need to fall back on their families or the government to support themselves throughout their retirements, I think we need more conversations around money and wealth and financial literacy, not less. Money is an important topic. By denying the importance of money, we're only fooling ourselves. And by fooling ourselves, what we may find is that when the future comes, we might find ourselves unprepared and without financial resources. And the years of our life when we should be living well, and living with dignity, we might find them ourselves being dependent on others, our family, our government. And because of not prioritizing financial wealth, we might find that we have put ourselves in a position where we've lost our own dignity and self-respect. In a world where majority of people have not got their financial house in order and have no idea that they're going to need enough money to last them for 20 to 30 to 35 years, we need more conversations around money and wealth, not less. You see, we're not at a point where 50% of people in the world are financially secure and financially confident and financially stable. We have less than one or 2% of people that ever get to that point. Right now is not the time to discourage people from having money conversations. If anything, financial literacy needs to be prioritized over any other type of education in a world where majority of people are suffering from financial ignorance and have no idea that they're heading towards a financial disaster.